Hey everyone, this is Bhargav Sathar and today uh, we will learn what is a lattice and a sublattice. Now see, in previous lecture we already discussed what is a lattice and we did uh, two or three examples and which they are a lattice. Now in this session we will discuss again what is a lattice and two or three examples and which are not lattice. Okay, and also we will discuss a sublattice. Okay, so see this is the revision. What is a lattice? It is a four set A less than or equals to in which every subset or every pair of the given set has the LUB and as well as the jiggle. So that is called a lattice. And these are the operators. So in lattice, the LUB of A and B is denoted by A or B and it is known as A join B. And in same way, GLB of two elements is denoted by A and B and it is known as A meet B. This already we discussed in previous session very thoroughly so if you do if you have any doubt just go through that video so now let us discuss example so the question is determine whether the following hair diagram represents lattice or not so here the hair diagram now to check whether it is a lattice or not all we have to do is just uh, construct a glb table and lub table and then if we have a GLB and LUB for each and every pair, then it is a lattice, otherwise it is not. So first let us calculate the LUB for each and every pair. So in the figure, how many points are there? I think there are six points. So the table will be like this ABC, DEF. And in column also, it will be ABC and DEF. Now first, what is the least upper bound of A and A? So this is A and A. So since it is the same point, so LUB will be same. Now what will be the least upper bound of A and B? So here it is A and here it is B. So what is the least upper bound? So it is clear it is C. Now same way A and C, A and C, so it will be C. Then A and D, so A and D it is D. Then A and D, A and D, it is clear E. And last A and F, so it will be F. Now let us go for the B one. So A and B, uh, so that means B and A. So A, B was C, so here it is also C. Now B and B, as it is the same point, it will be B. Then B and C, there's B and C. So the least upper bound, the upper bound will be the least one is C. Then B and D, B and D, it will be D. Then B and D, where is B, this is B and E. So the upper bound is E, so it will be E. Then B and F. So B and F, it is clear, F. Next, C and A. So what was, what was in A and C? A and C, it was C. So here it is, by symmetry, it is C. Then C and B. What was in B and C? B and C, it was C. So again, it is C. C, C, that is the same point, so it is C. Then C and D. C and D, it is D. C and E, C and E, it is E. C and F. C and F, yes, it is F. Then D A, what was in A and D, it was D, so here it will be also D. Then D and B, B, D, D, so here it is also D. Then D, C, so what was there in C, D, it was D, so again it is D. And D, D, as they are the same points, so it will be D. Then D, E, D and E, that is E. And D, F, it is F. Then E and A, A and E was E, so here it is E. Then E and B, so B and E was E, so it is E. Again it is E, C. E is the highest one, that means the upper bound and the greatest one uh, in the whole graph. So it will be E. Now, just consider, what will be the least upper bound of E and F? E and F, so you can see that in E and F, there is no upper points. So that means we cannot find the upper bound, so hence it will be dashed because in a uh, figure you can clearly see that for EF and F points, there is no upper points. So that means LUB is five or not. Now F and A, so see that this whole row, it will be F because F it is the upper point. So see all the enters will be F and last here F and E. So E and F was a dash. So also F and E is also dash and last F and F is F. So that means in here, E and F pair does not have a loop. Let us check for the GLB. So the table will be same like this. The symbol is changed. 
now a and a it will be a now a and b here we are going to find the greatest lower bound so a and b a and b the greatest lower bound see you can see that in a and b there is no lower bounds but that means so there is no lower points so we cannot find the lower bound of a and b and also as it does not have the lower bound it will not have the greatest one so a and b lower bound will be dash now a and c a and c it will be the lower bound uh, it will be a then a and d a and d it will be a the lower one then a and d the lower one a a and f the lower one a then b and a uh, a in a b it was dash now b a again it will be dash because there is no lower points or not lower bounds so that means the glb is 5 now b and b as they are the same points it will be b now b and c b and c it is b so this is how you can create the glb table i'm just scrolling it because it is very easy so i'll discuss two or three types yeah you can see that c now let us consider d and c d and c the lower bound that is c let us consider d and e the d and e so the lower bound is d now take e so e and d uh, e and d it is d then e and a e and a the lower bound is a so a mm, then f and d f and d the lower bound is d so d so this is how you can create the glb now you can see that see in lub we have one pair which does not have lub and in same manner that in glb we also have one pair that does not have glb so there is no lub of the pair which pair was there it was f and d and glb of the pair a and b so they does not have lub and glb so hence we can say that it is not a lattice so this is the example in which it is not a lattice let us discuss second one determine the question is same whether the following haze diagram represent lattice or not so this is the haze diagram now same way we will create the lub and glb table now see there will be how there are so many points five points so it will be like this abc and de and in column also it will be abc and de now let us take aa so lub of aa that means a because it is the same point now lub of a and b a and b now you can see that what will be the lub of a and b now see a and b so what are the upper bounds first so the upper bounds are c and d you can see that a and b so uh, in upper bound what we need to check so there has to be a relation from the given set to the upper points so that means a is related to c b is related to c d is related to d and e is related to d so that and also e is also an upper bound but we are trying to find the least one so that means c and d they both are the upper bound and it is the least one but the least one is the only one so c and d so what we need to choose now it is 5 how because c and d both are not related so the up lub of a and b will be 5 now i have discussed uh, this type of example in previous sessions so uh, for that also just go through that video now a and c now a and c what will be the upper bound of a and c it will be c then a and d a and d it will be d then a and e it will be e now let's take b and a so again b and a it will be dash that means five now b and b both are same points so it will be b then b and c b and c it will be uh, the upper bounds that means it will be c the next b and d b and d it will be d then b and e b and d it will be e now c and d so what was there in a and c just directly we are writing a and c so it is c then c and b what was there in b and c it was c so it is c now c and c obviously it is c now c and d now the c and d the upper bound is e so it will be e at c and d c and d e now d and a it was there in a d we were just transferring all the entries so d and a so what was there in a d it was d 
now T and B. It was C. Now T and C. In C D it was E, so it is clearly it is E. Now D and D, as it is the same point, this is E. Now D and E. Now D and E, it is E. And last one, E column. See, you can see that E is the upper bound and it is the upper bound of the whole graph. So all the entries will be E. No need to check. So all the entries will be E. Now in same manner, we'll create the GNP table. So it is it is like this. Mm, let us discuss A and A. It will be A. Now A and B, the greatest lower bound. You can see that. See A and B and the greatest lower bound. So what will be it? A and B. First, what are the lower bounds of A and B? So for lower bound, there has to be a relation from the lower points to the given set. But here we do not have any points such that it connects or it relates both the elements. So that means A and B, it is five because there is no element such that there is a relation from the lower points to the given set. Okay, then A and C. Now A and C, it is A. Now since A is the lower bound of the whole graph, so all the entries will be A. Now B and A, it will be dash. Now B B it will be now B and C, uh, B and C where C okay C so it will be B. Now B and D B and D it is B. Now B and D B and E it is B. Okay now C now A C in which uh, A C was A so here it will be A. Now C B and B C was B so it is B. Now C C it is C as it is the same point. Now for C and D C and D. What are the lower bounds first? They are B and A, but uh, we are trying to find the greatest one. That means the upper one. So what is that? It is B. So it will be B. Now what will be the C and D? That means greatest lower bound of C and D. So C and D, it is C. Now next D and A. So what was there in A D? It was A. So it is A. Now D B. So B D. It was B. So B. Now D C. So C D was B. So here it is B. Now D D. It will be D because it is the same point. Now D and E, D and E, so it is D. Now E, so E and A, now A and E, so it will be A. Now E and B, so E and B, it will be B. Now E and C, E and C, that is A. Then E and D, no, I think C corrected here. E and C, so it will be C, it is corrected. Now E and D, E and A, it will be D. Yeah, again we have just corrected D. Then last E and E it will be A. So just please correct it here. It will be C, D, and E. So here every subset does not have a least upper bound and a greatest lower bound. So here we have one pair and here also we have one pair. So it will not be a lattice. Now what is a sub lattice? Let L less than or equals to be a lattice. Now a non-empty subset S of L is called sub lattice of L if this A or B belongs to S and A and B belongs to S whenever this both A and B belongs to S. And that it, it means that A and B is LUB and GKLB. So let us take one example. Example. See, consider the lattice L. Determine whether or not each of the following is sub lattice of L or not. So the, we have four sets: L1, L2, L3, and L4. So now the graph is or the haze diagram is given. It is like this: the cube one. Now, what is the sub lattice? A subset. See, the lattice is given L. So a subset is a sub lattice if it is closed under this and and or. So that means. It will contain GLB and LUB in the same set. So let us discuss. See the first one. L1 is L A B and N. See for easy understanding, what we are going to check. That means, see this is the lattice, or that means a sub lattice. To prove or not, L A B and N. There are four points, so it will have LUB and GLB, which will be there in the same set. Okay. Again, I am repeating. That means this. Whole set must contain LUB and GLB in the same set. That means in this. So let us take consider C, L A B and F. So L A B and M. So 
take pair now la what is the lub and glb of la la so one is l and one is a so it is there now ab now a and b so the greatest lower bound it is l and the least upper bound is c you can see that this least upper bound this lub does not belongs to the l1 set so that means it is not a lattice for lattice it has to be closed under this uh, lub and glb but here the upper bound the greatest uh, sorry least upper bound c that does not belongs to l1 so it is not a sublet so the l1 is not a sublet is as this is c and this does not belongs to l now let us take for l2 and l3 it will be lattice let us take only one let us take this l3 a c d and m now a and c what will be the least upper bound it will be c and the lowest one it is a so both are in that this given set now c and d now c and d one is a and one is n they both are in the given set now take d and m take d and m both are d and b e, m so they are there in the set now for a d c m a m all like you can try all the possibilities but the glb and lgb will be there in the l3 so hence it will be sub lattice and in same manner you can check for l2 and last l4 that's also not a sub lattice because c c d the c d pair where is c d c d pair the greatest lower bound is a and least upper bound is m so the glb a c or d is glb is a but that does not belongs to the given set l4 so hence it is not a sub lattice thank you